I think anybody can be an ally. I think you have to have certain attributes, which is about being open, which is about exhibiting empathy, which is about um, encouraging others, um, and also being prepared to challenge um, either policies or processes or, or behaviour that is contrary to, to having a diverse and inclusive environment. I'm an active ally for disabled employees at Network Rail and what this means is that I make sure that what we do um, supports both their access to uh, training opportunities, access to different services, make sure that our policies are, are correct um, and on occasion represent their views if they are not available. I think that the organisation has changed in a number of ways through having allies like myself. It considers um, disability much more proactively. Um, our capacity to meet the needs of disabled employees and disabled passengers is increasing. Um, we are mindful of and sensitised to the experience of disabled people and we use that to inform our approach to our passengers as well as to our employees and to our potential employees. In my experience as an ally, I think what works is being uh, or having a sense of humility. So an ally isn't expected to be the font of all knowledge. You are expected really to be open to and supportive of uh, the needs uh, uh, of, of the individual that you're, you're supporting. I think allies ought to be uh, courageous. So there's no point in being an ally uh, and kind of being invisible. I think if you're an ally, people ought to recognise you as such and that means that you sometimes have to ask uh, some challenging questions of others. Um, you might well have to make representations on behalf of somebody um, and so therefore you need an element of boldness and bravery. <laughs>